Today, we're going to be doing a project dealing with still life drawing and painting. We're talking about the artist Paul Cezanne and how he did many still life drawings of fruit and such in his artwork. You're going to receive a paper like this to not only draw your picture but also to help you to focus and see it. You will cut off the top of your page. You will be left with your square inside of a box. You're going to cut it out. This is going to be your viewfinder. When you cut your, your square out, you're going to place it to the side. By folding your paper in half, the square in half, and then the square, you're going to find the middle points of all the squares by folding it and folding it in half again, and you will see the middle points. It will help you to focus your drawing and help you to determine where to place things. Onto your drawing, you will also fold this square in half and find your middle points here and here, here, and also here by folding your square in half and in half again. And you will, put, you will put those middle points and draw them onto your square so that you know exactly where they are. Next, by looking through your viewfinder like this, you will be able to see what you are looking at in the scope of your painting. By looking at the tick marks to tell you the middle of the square, you will see, for instance, where the apple is. You will see, for instance, where the banana lies. And you're going to decide what is going to be your focus of your drawing. Is it going to be here? Here? Is it going to be over here? Or here? When you hold up this in class, you're going to be able to focus in with your eyes and see exactly where it is you're going to be drawing. You will know the banana lies in the middle, somewhat to the bottom. You know the apple is off to, this, off to the right of the middle a little bit, and the grapes are off to the bottom left. You will then, as you're looking through your viewfinder, like this, and seeing what it is you're drawing, then you will look down, you will draw on your paper what it is that you see. Again, using the middle points, you will draw what you see. Here's the banana, the grapes, this was the um, pepper, the two apples, and the basket. On top of a clipboard, you're going to place with tape the picture of your fruit. Underneath it, you're going to place the carbon paper. And underneath that, you're going to line up your puzzle piece, the wooden puzzle piece, on top. So. Your, your paper will not look like this at first with the black outline. You're going to take your pencil drawing first that you do and then outline the main points that you want to keep in your picture with the black pencil. Okay? When you tape that down and you put your carbon paper under it, you have to feel with your hands and see that your wooden puzzle piece lines up with the square underneath it. So you feel and you feel that your wooden square underneath is lined up. So you may have to adjust it until everything is lined up. When you're finished lining it up, you're going to use your pencil on top of the Sharpie black marker drawing that you did on top as your final drawing. And you're going to press into the paper on top of the carbon and into the wood. It's going to give you a drawing of your final outcome. You're going to do one thing at a time and draw each detail that you see. When you're finished with that and you lift the paper, and again you lift the carbon paper, on top of your puzzle, wooden puzzle, you're going to see your drawing transferred from the carbon paper onto the wooden puzzle. Finally, you're going to flip over your wooden puzzle and you're going to use some more tape to keep your puzzle together because it is somewhat unstable. 
So you're going to have to use another piece of tape and tape it here, and then use a piece of tape and tape it here. Finally, you flip it over, and this is whenever the painting begins.